Introduce yourself again, please. Again, I'm Carl Booth. Okay. Okay. We're in the process of making the faces for a Cessna aircraft. We're working on a Cooper glue line machine. We put two pieces of veneer side by side in the machine, and coming out of the other end of the machine will be the two pieces glued together. Now, what we have to do here is actually make this face fit a location on the blueprint. We want to kind of, can we walk down here? Sure. Walk down to the other end. You can actually see that each face is made and labeled as to where it's going to go in the airplane. You're going to put these together again, right? Uh, I'm actually going to make a label of those. Get ready to label those. So the entire airplane is sitting here, ready to be put in plywood form. Okay? Okay. Uh, Interesting. Okay. Especially with this chewing gum. What is this part? You don't think I've been with this gum chewing over here, okay? <laughs> what, <laughs> what we're doing here is that we're sequencing each leaf of veneer with the leaf below it so it, it goes back the way it grew. The only way you can have a perfect match when you do a book match panel is to make certain that each one of these leaves is registered exactly where it grew. And all of a sudden he saw a defect. He's already deciding what cuts he can make. We actually spend more time sequencing the wood and deciding how to cut it than actually cutting it. The cutting process is simple once they do the work. But if you notice, he's actually lining up eye to eye with the way it grew. I actually have two eyes here and they're exactly in line. Very high-end birds I made. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Very good. All right. Brian, what are you doing over there? You got you got one to put together. Why don't you just give him a talk through of how to put together a panel? Okay. okay. Well, what we do is we get our rough cut veneer in here, and we find our cuts. To match this uh, order's sizes, okay, and um, we cut the cut it an inch over size, and then we have to arrange each one to have a face side cut so the seam doesn't have any chip out on it whatsoever. So now this is my this is my inch over size. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to flip and slip every leaf to arrange it so whenever I cut it, it'll be face side up on every leaf as the blade passes through. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to do a few of them right now. And then, after I have that, they're arranged to be cut. I'm going to take them over to the Savi. Okay. And cut them to my finished width, which is 10 and a half. And the order, the panel size that's ordered is a 21 by 21. So it's going to have a center seam in it. Machine. We always put a bumper under it because the last, last leaf of the stack will tend to blow out because of the pressure of the blade passing through. Now after we've cut it to size, we'll bring it back over to our table and we'll assemble it using a masking tape. We lay it out face side down so it's ready to tape as soon as it's laid out. We'll line the burls up very carefully before we assemble the panel. Try to pull the seam as tight as we can as we're applying the masking tape to it. Okay. This is your finished panel with the, the uh, pattern in the middle, and that's what the book match form is the pattern in the middle. Is that a table? Yeah. So he did, he did a tabletop in the airplane. Okay. He made that look awfully easy. 
Uh, he certainly did. He certainly did. <laughs> Very good. Thank you, Brian.